welcome to another beautiful day here in sunny Colorado. Even though it's super nice out today, I'm not exactly sure how the day's gonna pan out. Um, as some of you know, our kitty cat's not doing super great, and so uh, Jason's gonna take him into the vet today, and um, I think I'm gonna just try and do normal stuff with the kids today. Um, we have golf tonight, we have horse judging tonight, and I might just take him to the pool or something. Um, just as kind of a distraction. So I don't know, we'll see how today pans out, but I didn't want you guys to think that I am being um, non-sympathetic to what's happening or anything. I just sometimes think distraction can kind of at least help me from being like a total hot mess. And um, same for my kids, I don't know, we'll find out. But anyways, we're gonna take you with us today. It is a beautiful day here and we do have some stuff that we um, kind of have to do. So anyways, that's what's happening today and let's go ahead and get started with our morning. So this is Six, he's our kitty cat and he's not feeling so hot. Actually, he's not doing very good. Um, I think he, we got him as a stray, so we're not completely sure how old he is. We think he's around like maybe 16 or 17. As you can probably tell, he's not feeling super hot. He's been to the vet. I don't think there's a whole lot they can do to help him out. We're just trying to keep him comfortable and just give him a lot of love. He's a good boy. Good morning, Bandit. There you go, Potty. Come here. Wait, stop. Bandit, stop. Let's get your collar on. There you go. All right, there you go, Potty. Oh, yeah. Come on. Let's go. Come on. You want to go get the bird? Like his morning routine. Get the birdies out. Okay, they're in here. Hello, good boys. Didn't get you very good. There you go. Come on, Kiwi. Come out. Let's go. Good boy. Off for their morning fly. Good boys. Every morning they like to fly around, stretch their wings. All right, so I'm starting off my day with a smoothie. Um, I got a lot of questions about this last time. This is coconut, and I just kind of added in there. And then I also add in um, just frozen pineapple chunks. So this bag is empty, but you can put fresh fruit in there if you want. I like using frozen fruit because then I don't feel like I have to put ice in it, and it makes it really cold and um, kind of smoothie-like. So there's bananas, pineapple, and then the coconut in there. And then a lot of people asked what it was. And so I tried to find it for you online, um, but it's this Inner Eco Smoothie Pack, 100% young green coconut. And it just comes in these sheets. And it's actually, um, and then I just add water and that's all I add to it. Um, it's really good. The banana is for sweetness. So if you don't have any bananas, I would definitely put something else in or otherwise it's kind of sour. Good, good, turned out good. How is it? Mm, pretty good. Pretty good. I'm also gonna get my water ready for today, so I have some strawberries, and then I've got some ice water here, and I'm just gonna slice them up, put them in there, and then I'll just stick that in the refrigerator, and that way we'll have nice, cold, kind of strawberry-flavored water for the day. You guys hungry? Good morning. No? Good morning. Are you hungry? You guys are hungry. We're feeding some friends of animals. Here comes Haley. Here comes the hay. Okay, so Jason just got back from the vet. So we're having kind of a rough day here. I think we're gonna try and go to the pool for a little bit and just maybe distract everybody um, if that's possible. So that's where we're gonna head now. Hey, 
kids, it's your art fam back with another pool expedition. It's raining. About to go down. guys we've had a really long day today so we are going to say goodnight for now but I'm gonna leave you with this beautiful sunset looking out over the Rocky Mountains hope you guys have a good night